Let's look for some bunny holes. That sound good? <coughs> now before I can release my dog to her backyard, I have to look and see if there's any bunny holes. And the best way to find the bunny holes is bring your dog. Believe me, if there's a bunny hole, my dog's going to find it in moments. And she is pulling like a son of a gun because she loves it back here in the fenced-in area. Well, right there's a bunny hole, guys. And my dog found it right there. Down inside this little hole right here, I guarantee there's bunnies. You know how you can tell? You see this part right here? No storm, get back. That's fur. And bunny holes, they always have fur around them. Now, exactly what's that mean about me releasing Stormy out here? May not happen. Because she will dig, she will put her nose right down that bunny hole and gobble up these bunnies. I've seen her do it before. Now, I mowed the grass this morning out here and I couldn't locate any of them then at all. So I knew once I brought Stormy out here, she'll find them instantly. Let's keep going, see if we find others. Because if that's the only one, ah. Uh, I might be able to get around that. I don't know. I have an idea. What's funny about that bunny hole is, no, I'm wrong. I thought it was in the same spot it was back a couple years ago, but it's not. But I think I might see another one. Come on, Stormy. Stormy, come on. Is this a bunny hole right there? Nope. But there's the bunny hole you sniffed out right over there, right there. So we're not going near that one. I suggest every year before you do a mow, and even throughout the year, mainly in spring, walk through your yard and look for bunny holes. And they're real easy to spot because what the mama bunny will do is she'll take some of her fur and put it on top of the hole. So if you see any like what looks like bunny fur, I'm more than likely you got yourself a, a bunny hole. So yeah. I'm still looking to see if we have any more bunny holes. I only see the one. At least that's the only one Stormy spotted out. And if you have a hard time finding them, and you have a dog, take your dog out. I guarantee your dog's going to find them in moments. Mine does. Okay, it looks like we just have the one bunny hole. Now I got to do some figuring. I got to figure out how can I let Stormy out here to play without her disturbing what's in that hole. It kind of stinks for my dog, though, because back here, this is her domain. That's why I put a fence around here many years ago, so I can release her back here. This way, she can come and play and do whatever it is a dog can do. But when there's bunnies out here, no! I learned the hard way back some years ago. She'll gobble them up in seconds. Now, I may have to dig down in a hole here a little bit to see if there is bunnies in there. Because they may not be bunnies in there, but I may have to dig down in there later and see. I just don't want to touch them because that could be bad for the little bunnies. But right through here, as you can tell, there's some of the mama bunny fur right there. And when well, Stormy hit that hole, yeah, more than likely there's bunnies in there. Now what will happen is the mama bunny will come back and she will check on it in the mornings and she'll check on them in the evenings. Right now, the mama bunny's probably out somewhere getting some food and watching me right now. One year, I put a camera on that and kind of hood up on, set up, sat up on the back deck, and I actually caught the bunny coming in. Might try something like that again. I don't know. But guys, always check for bunny holes. Now, let me show you what I've been up to. It's been a piece before I was on here, right? Last video you seen, I went fishing. I got done watching the pups. Well, I took a little break for a couple of days. Today is Thursday. I actually took quite a bit of a break. <laughs> I had a lot to do. Well, to catch you up on things, I still haven't bought my lawnmower yet. The particular lawnmower I want is out of stock right now, so I gotta go back in the next week or so, and that's when they're supposed to have them in. But I did spend some monies. I paid about $180 for a weed eater, yeah. I got the Cobalt Weed Eater, the exact same kind almost, almost the same model I had before, but it's only a step down. The one that was just like mine before was 220 This cost me 180 bucks, and plus, I spent some money somewhere else too, but it was worth it. Let me show you. 
I decked out my yard a little bit with some nifty plants I did, yes. I took away the, white, the lighthouse like I said I would and put a plant container here. Then I used some of the shepherd hooks we had underneath the deck and bought these two plants. Took the wagon wheel put there and I paid about 12 bucks, 11.98 for each one of these plants. Yeah, and you see I'm an idiot that left the, uh, well the reason I left that on there is it tells me exactly how much water it needs and blah, blah, blah. But right down here is the third one. Yeah. Now what my goal is, right down through here, we're gonna get some of that, uh, whatever that stuff is to keep the weeds from coming through. And then we're gonna put mulch on top of that. And right here, we're gonna put some, Angie wants to put some plants in there. It's called the cat's meow. Now this right here is gonna change in the next month or so, because if I could pull it off, <laughs> yeah, it's more money I don't have. I'm getting a small shed and I'm gonna put right there because I need a shed bad. Now, once I buy this lawnmower, it's going to completely break me. <laughs> We're talking serious break. Now, I did decorate the front yard on a poor person's budget. Although I paid about 12 bucks for all them plants. And the other plants I showed you, that's uh, where the lighthouse used to be, they were half off. I was able to get three of them for $4 a piece. But guys, I came out this morning, mowed my hill. With the smaller lawnmower, it, the grass was high, but I was able to pull it off. Now, as far as the other grass goes, either I get somebody to do it for me and pay them, or just wait until I get my other lawnmower, and that still could be a week out. So, I still may have to get somebody to do that for me. Then, once I get my lawnmower, I'll obviously do it myself. Until I can figure out otherwise, I can't let Stormy back here. So, I gotta make dang sure there ain't no bunnies in that hole. But if you guys ever walk through your yard, and especially if you got a dog like I do, don't let that dog loose until you make dang sure there's no bunnies out there. And the way to look for them is look for fur that's in your yard. Because normally there's a hole underneath that fur, and that's where the baby bunny's going to be. All right, guys. Uh, the weekend's coming up. I am going to try to get a fishing trip in. I am also going to try to go to that pond and get a fishing trip in we're supposed to have rain on saturday sunday's supposed to be super nice but sunday is also the free fishing day here in the state of indiana so i imagine Versailles state park and any of these other popular places are going to be crowded and plus there is something on the back burning i'm burner i'm looking into there's a spot on the Ohio River I wasn't able to fish last year because it said no trespass on private property. Well, them signs are gone. And there was somebody down there fishing the other day. So I'm going to do my checking. And if I'm allowed to fish here, it is an awesome spot. Oh, my God. I'm here to tell you. But, guys, uh, I took a little break because I needed it. I put way too many videos out. I shouldn't have videotaped every day watching the dogs and you know, my wacky week, I should have done one here, one there, but you know me. All right, until next time, i see you in a couple days. And come on, let's get out of here. Leave me comments. Have you ever had to deal with the bunny holes in your yard? And if you have, let me know. I can't let Stormy back there. She'll gobble them up. Only her nature. Until next time, come on, let's get out of here.